Hi scholars, Miss Lofton here. Today we will be doing our shared reading. As you know, this is a time um, where we all have our light text in front of us and we read together. Today's text is a really fun one and I'll go ahead and let you in on the title. It is Night Steed. Um, before we actually dive into reading that text, we just to have a few things that we need to cover. And today's text is a phonics focused lesson. And we will be reviewing diagraphs. Say that word with me, diagraphs. Diagraphs is when you have two letters that come together to make one sound. Again, a diagraph is when you have two letters coming together to make one sound. I'm gonna share my screen with you very quickly. And our first diagraph um, has the two letters K and N. Those two letters come together to make the sound mm. Say that with me. Mm. Again by yourself. Very good. Mm. Today as you read, there will be a few words that we need to know that start with this sound, mm. and they're gonna look a little funny. Those words are night and not. Say those words with me, night. Say it with me, night. One more time by yourself, good job. Our next word is not. Say it with me, not. Again by yourself, very good. Okay, scholars, our next word, our next diagraph that we will be reviewing today um, consists of the letters G and N. Those two letters come together to make the sound mmm, to make the sound mmm. Say that with me, mmm. Again, by yourself, very good. As you read today, much like our last diagraph, you will have some words that we need to identify. And our first word is narc. Say that with me, narc. Again by yourself, good job. Our next word is narc, I mean naw. It's what? Naw, good job. And our final word that we will see in our text with that diagraph mm, is net. Say it with me, net. Again by yourself, very good. Awesome job, scholars. Now, there is one more word that is very familiar to you. It is a sight word. I'm gonna put it on the screen and when you know it, I want you to whisper it to whoever's in the room with you, okay? I will give you 10 seconds to recognize this word and whisper it to a friend in the room. Very good. That word is wood. Say it with me. Wood. Again by yourself. Very good. Now, today as we read, I want you to remember those diagraphs and what sound they make. And as we read, we will have a few words that we need to look for. Our first word is gnaw. Our second word is net. Then we have narc, night, knots, and wood. I'm going to give you a few moments to write these words down so that when I go to the text, you'll know that we are looking for these words. Let's say these words together. Gnaw, net, narc, night, knots, wood. Awesome. Now, 
you have a few moments to go ahead and write those words down. I'm gonna give you one minute on the timer and I'm gonna set my timer now. Go ahead and write those words down. Okay, guys, now Ms. Lawson is going to read it aloud to you. Um, this time when we read, this first time when we read, I want you all to follow along with me and read it aloud with me. And then on our second read, we're going to mark up those words that we just mentioned. So look very closely for those words during this first read. Night Steve. Night Steve wanted to live with Nark the Net, so he went home with him. Nark's home was a bit small, but it was just Nark and Night Steve. Night Steve did not like what Nark the Gnat ate. It was gross. Nark the Gnat would gnaw on knots in the wood. Night Steve tried to gnaw on the knots in the wood, but it did not taste good. Nark would gnaw on the wood knots all day. Night Steve ate the knots and got sick. He did not like to gnaw on the tree knots. Since Night Steve cannot eat wood and Nark's house is small, he moved out. In his new house, Night Steve now only eats steak. Awesome job, scholars. Now, who can tell me those words that we are looking for in today's reading? Who can tell me those words that we are looking for in today's reading? I will give us 15 seconds to say those words out loud. Awesome job. Those words are nark, net, gnaw, night, knots, and wood. This go round, when you hear me say one of those words, I want you to put a big X over that word, okay? Awesome job. Ms. Lofton is going to be doing it as well. So let's go ahead, get our pencils ready so that we can do this together. All right, let's go. Night Steve. Night Steve wanted to live with Nark the Gnat, so he went home with him. Nark's home was a bit small, but it was just Nark and Night Steve. Night Steve did not like what Nark the Gnat ate. It was gross. Nark the Gnat would gnaw on knots in the wood. Night Steve tried to gnaw on the knots in the wood, but it did not taste good. Nark would gnaw on the wood knots all day. Night Steve ate the knots and got sick. He did not like to gnaw on the tree knots. Since Night Steve cannot eat wood and Nark's house is small, he moved out. In his new house, Night Steve now only eats steak. Awesome job, friends, on that read. Go ahead and hold your papers up and let's see those papers of friends that followed along and marked up. I'm looking. Good job, friends. Okay, now. Before we close, I have one big question for us. And when you know the answer, I want you to write it down on your question sheet and hold it up so Ms. Lofton can see it. Okay. What was the problem in the story? What was the problem in the story? I will give us a few moments. I know that we may not finish writing it all down before this time is up, but we can begin. And once I'm finished, then you know we can finish writing those answers down. What was the problem in the story? 
Let's think back on Knight Steve and Narc the Net. What problems did they have in this story? Awesome job. The problem in the story was Night Steve did not like what Narc Net ate and Narc's house is too small. So that was our problem in the story. Again, the problem in the story was Night Steve did not like what Narc the Net ate and Narc's house is too small. All right, guys, that is the end of our lesson today. And you all have been great, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.